move the ball and stick it to me. What is up, Pack Nation? It's your boy Pack Gaming here, and this is NBA 2K Theories. Today, we will talk about the half court shot. I'm hoping we all know what that is, but if you don't, it's when you shoot the ball behind the half court line. Did you know that in the past 15 years on average, an NBA player will make a shot about 2.4% of the time? The half court shot is obviously the worst shot to take in basketball, but sometimes it's the most important. Especially if you have no timeouts left in the fourth quarter. Mayo, Mayo, off balance, MJ Mayo. Oh my goodness, can you believe that? 1.5 seconds, no timeouts. Tyreek, Tyreek at the hole. That being said, it would be a really good skill to master. But the question is, is a half court shot even a skill at all? Obviously in real life, it would take someone with excellent amount of aim to be able to pull it off. But what about an NBA 2K16? Would there even be a small difference between someone who has very small amount of aim and someone who has a very, very impressive amount of aim? Well, there's no way in telling who has the worst aim or half court shot in the world. So let's just assume it's Shaq for his lack of perimeter shooting. And let's just assume that Curry has the best half court shooting in the game because it's Chef Curry with the pop boy. And compare the two in a half court shooting contest. Also, Shaq has only made one three pointer ever in the NBA. Imagine how hard it is to make a half court shot for him. While Curry, well, just look at these. Green weaving, trying to get the shot up, no call that way. Curry swings it the other way, and he got it! Stephen Curry, from midcourt. Why not? No way. Why not? Now we test to see if there's any better half-court shooters in the game. The way we are testing this is we are only shooting the runner half-court shots simply because they are the most realistic shots taken in the NBA. We shoot with Shaq and Curry both 100 times and compare how many shots we've made. Oh, BT dubs, I totally did this on Rookie because eh. Anyways, the biggest takeaway from all of this is that Shaq actually made some half-court shots. Actually, more than some. He made four. And that boy Curry got seven. Now you could argue that, well, that's not that big of a difference, Patrick, blah, blah, blah. Well, you didn't let me finish. Okay, so yeah. It's true that that's not a crazy difference, but there's another way to look at this. If you look at the separation between the shots made, Curry's shots were more in order. Basically, he got hot and started draining half-court shots, while Shaq had a more consistent, spread out shot base. In a sense, if it were a perfect day, Steph Curry could have made 10 shots, while Shaq still only would have made 4. That's a very big difference. Not only that, but every single time, Curry shot hit the rim literally every single time, while Shaq hit the rim about 50% of the time. There's definitely a difference between the two, which means if you want to take that half court shot, I'd go with Curry. But that would be pretty legit if you made a half court game winner with Shaq, just saying. P.S. Riley Curry is wrong. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys are liking this series. If you are, please give this video a like and a sub. All the support helps. And hey, if you have any ideas for a theory video, please leave it in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Move the ball and stick it to me.